ever smiled on since I can't remember when. So hey, uh, I thought I would talk a little bit more um, for a few minutes about what I call the caveman approach to building stuff uh, because this, I know this is going to be useful for somebody out there and hopefully that person is watching. I was talking the other day uh, to a guy uh, who was showing me his bus and he mentioned that he couldn't figure out, he wanted to uh, do something to match the contour of the ceiling and the walls and he couldn't figure out how to do that so he went to plan B and did something less desirable. Well, um, it's actually pretty simple to do stuff like that um, and I'll show you how. Suppose I wanted to cut to the contour of the ceiling here, which I will be doing soon whenever I do this front area here. Okay, so what I did, um, this is our future template here. I taped it in place. So I went out and pulled a scrap piece of wood out of the wood pile, scrap wood pile, and uh, I duct taped it onto a marker. And now what I can do is uh, I'm going to lay this along like this and move it down. And that's going to write the contour. Okay. So I probably should have turned that over but so it's not black on black. But I can see it. You know, it doesn't show up on camera. But I can, I can see the marker there. And so I could take that down and cut it with my knife. And that should fit. But if it doesn't, um, you know, if I made a mistake, you just, you just keep layering it up like that and um, eventually get a piece of cardboard that fits perfectly and then you use that to mark the thing whatever you're going to cut. So it's actually pretty easy. Um, you know, every kid in kindergarten does cut and paste and that's basically all you need to do. Uh, you know, you can actually, if it, uh, probably a better way is you can get this stiff construction paper, which is, I think, basically made for this type of purpose at a craft store or wherever. Um, I just always have scrap cardboard laying around, so, um, you know, I'm... That's the way I do it. I've used uh, um, tar paper also. If you had scrap, you know, it's a little messy, but it does work. I've used that before. And that's how I do it. So give it a try. Now, I know I've mentioned this before, even recently, so it could be uh, boring for some people who've already seen it or who don't care. But uh, I'm, so I'm not going to do the, the contour of the ceiling today. But I am going to do this piece. Oops, what's that? That's kind of cool. I'm going to do this piece here. Um, you can see that's kind of complicated shape. And um, I'm doing it with diamond plate. So I don't want to have to do it by trial and error. So um, I'll show you how to do this. And this is the same thing. If you're doing the slope, you know, you can do it the same way. But if you do it this way, any kindergartner has the skills to do this. So I'm, I'm going to get this piece of cardboard here and just lay it down along that, that wall there. And you can see it needs to be cut at an angle going across like this. Okay, well no problem. Um, there's a couple of ways. I can just uh, mark this on either side and put my square down and draw a line and just cut it. Or, you know, depending on what it is, I can probably push on this and it'll make an imprint of where I need to cut. Or you can always just eyeball it and you don't have to get it perfect it'd be nice you know it's nice it'll it'll help make it a little easier if you get that cut right the first time but if you don't you're gonna lay another strip up against there and correct it so I'm gonna put the camera down and just do that okay so I just uh, marked on either side I did this uh, measured this line with my my square here and I'm gonna cut along that I cut that see it does fit now um, now I can go ahead and put this up here like this, you know, tape it down. Oh, look, I missed a piece here. Just take a little piece and, and tape it down. I'm kind of being sloppy here, but you can, you know, you can be as fancy as you want. I left that. I still need to deal with that there. But whatever, you can just keep um, layering these pieces up. It may get a little thick, which is why it might be good to use construction paper. Um, but whatever, you know, eventually... Um, in fact, I did. See, I, I actually, cheating, I did, I already cut this, and then I thought, hey, that'd be a good thing to put on camera. So this, is a, this was a reenactment, as they call it in the crime shows. So this, you can see, I did a few layers here, and I just taped it all together, but 
this thing fits in here now and all I have to do is uh, just tape this to my sheet metal and I can just take my marker mark along the edges and just cut it and put that piece in here the only thing you got to be careful of I've done this before is especially with this time diamond plate obviously is there's, there's one face that needs to go up uh, don't do what I've done in the past and put the pattern on backwards and so you got a piece that matches perfectly but it's upside down so that's the only gotcha so hopefully I hope that was helpful uh, to and somebody watching because I know there's a lot of people out there that need to know this and they don't all right you're watching John's bus conversion on the mud springer channel okay well there's how it turned out so um, I just thought I mentioned there there might be somebody out there screaming jumping up and down saying I did it wrong blah, blah, blah. so um, I'm fine with the way it turned out this is what I wanted um, did it on purpose it's all cool but just some points and things out if you're doing this you may or may not want to do this um, first of all I could have done this all in one piece and this, then there wouldn't be these seams here now I would have had to buy an entire sheet of this stuff because they didn't, just didn't have any scraps anywhere near big enough um, and in fact of course it's probably close to a whole piece to do it um, but I don't care I don't mind these seams I, I like them actually kind of um, and I did not uh, bother to try and match the diamond plate pattern up either which uh, you know I certainly could have it in some, some circumstances I might have um, this is just the floor of the driver's area and I really don't care and I actually kind of like the randomness and the seams you know at least in this in this venue if I was putting it on somewhere else I might have done it differently but I'm cool with it but I just thought I would point that out since you're sitting here watching me do that that uh, yeah I know I did that and I did it on purpose and I'm fine with it uh, but you may not want to do it that way so at some point I'm going to build a little see this indentation here is going to be my glove compartment and also to hide this I don't like I had this done I paid somebody to do that and I was happy with their work except for them just leaving these um, nodes like this unprotected because if a piece of metal lays against that it's going to it's going to cause an issue so but I'm going to move on to something else, yay. Oh, hey there. Yeah, I was just reading this article about how the Neanderthals weren't as dumb as everyone thought they were after all. Yeah, well, I sure feel vindicated. Well, hey man, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Catch you next time. Later. Cut.